Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the video. Um, if you've been here before, hello, nice to see you. Uh, if you've never been here before, um, where you been my whole life? Um, we're going to learn in this one how to fade out anything gradually in Affinity Photo. So shapes, pictures, it's going to really help you make some more dynamic, cool stuff. So let's just get started. What I always like to do to make sure our screens look similar is go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio just to make sure your screen looks like my screen. Okay, so uh, let's start with the shape. I'm going over to my tools here and I'm just going to grab a circle and I'm going to draw out a circle, a blue circle. Fantastic. I've outdone myself this time. All right, so this is how you do it. I got my shape selected in my layers panel on the right. What I'm going to do is put a mask on it by hitting my mask button down in the bottom of the layers panel. And I'm just going to select mask. When I do that, you will see that a mask icon has appeared below my ellipse. So I have my parent layer, which is my ellipse and my mask, which is attached to it below. Now that I have my mask selected, I'm just going to go over to the gradient tool in the tools menu right here. I'm going to click on that. And when I do, you'll see my mouse changes. And I'm just going to click from where I want the fade to start and drag down. I'm going to click here and drag down. So say I put my fade to about here. Now, once I do that, you'll see there's two lines and a bar in the middle. This bar will help me control the um, intensity of the, of the fade of where I want it to start. You can also move this around. So just because I faded it from one direction and set it, it doesn't mean I can't move it. So this can all be changed. So that is how you would do it on a shape. Let's do a real example of a picture. Okay. So I have a picture of this model queen looking girl here. And obviously there's a harsh edge here and say I wanted to fade it out. Now what I'm going to do is add a black background just so when it fades, it fades into black and not white. So if you don't know how to do that, you can just go up to layer, new fill layer. And when I do that, my new fill layer appears on top. So I'm just going to drag it below. Now I think by default affinity, it's white, the um, fill. I've set it to black in this example. So it fades out to a black uh, background. So I've got my subject selected that I want faded. I'm going down to my mask button in my layers panel. I'm just going to apply a mask. You'll see the mask appear below the picture. My mask is selected. I grab the gradient tool and from where the fade I want to start, I'm just going to click and drag down and then I'll just adjust this bar here to what I want. So that is how you would fade a picture and um, that's how you would do that. Now let's grab another example. Let's go to uh, this one here. Okay, so I have a sky here. Turn this off and I just have this uh, ocean. Maybe it's a lake. Maybe it's an ocean. Don't think it's a river. Anyways, I've got this ocean, lake, river thing. Uh, it's not a pond. And I'm going to put this sky over top of it. And I want this sky to fade down into the water. So I got my picture selected. I'm going to grab my mask, apply it to the photo I want faded. With my mask selected, I'll go back to my gradient tool. And I'm just going to click and drag down to about where I want it. So I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, that's fading those two. Let's do another one here. Uh, let's do maybe this, this guy. I don't know what he's up to. Looks a little... Looks a little suspicious if you ask me. So let's put him, let's put him in a graveyard. Got a graveyard behind it. Got this guy on top. And what we'll do is we will fade him in. So I got him selected. Pick my mask. Apply it to the picture I want faded. Back to the gradient tool. Click where I want the fade to start and just drag it down. And I don't want the line to show, so I'm going to pull this bar up a little bit. And that's that. Not the greatest thing you've ever seen, but you get the idea. And I'll show you one where you can fade both. Uh, we'll use this one. So I got this woman, this Victorian woman, and this house here, this uh, this spooky looking house. Uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to add a new fill layer to it in the background. New fill layer, drag it to the bottom, make it black, and let's fade this picture first. So I got this house. I'm going to put a mask on this house. I'm going to go to my gradient tool. And I'm going to pull this house up and just sort of fade it like this, maybe. Sure, let's do that. And then I'm going to turn on this picture of this woman. I'm going to pull her up to the top a little bit. I'm going to apply a mask to her. And then I'm going to fade her into it as well. So they sort of blend in like this. Is this the greatest thing you've ever seen? Maybe, probably not. But that's just the main idea. I wanted to show you guys how you fade out... Um, 
shapes and images to blend them together to build up your compositions. Uh, if you like the video, do me a favor, please just tap, 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 tap that like button. And um, if you think these videos were helpful and you don't, and you're not subscribed, hey, what could I do to get you to subscribe today? Um, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and I will get back to you soon with another one.